These photos all suck. I'm not even, I'm not moving it and it's moving. I was just sitting around and I was like, what video do I make today? I don't even know what to do. But then my good friend Adam called me and uh, I think he wants to do something. So he might just do something. What will he say? I don't know. Jimmy Nutrin. <laughs> Jimmy Nutrin, chicken feet, how are you? He ended up saying, oh, I was thinking about going on a hike today. Do you want to come with me? And I said, hell yeah, baby, let's go on a hike. I wanted to uh, get a some sort of nature photo, whether it was going to be a drone shot, whether it was going to be like a camera shot. I just wanted something to like sink my teeth into so I can create. Is it going to be a tough walk? Very strenuous. Driving around and everything and the landscape was absolutely beautiful. It was and I think that the fact that like I've been in my house, this whole self-isolation thing with the coronavirus, I forgot sort of what it was like to go out to a cool location. All right, I think that we have made it. Faculty close until further notice in accordance with Department of Health and Human Services requires limiting the amount of people public gatherings to reduce the spread of coronavirus. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I realized that Adam is wearing all kinds of like gear on his legs. I think they're called gaiters. It stops leeches and stuff and snakes or whatever it may be getting to your legs. And I didn't have any of that. I actually, I just had my normal shoes. You know that awkward gap when you have short socks with like long pants and it's just like there's a little bit of skin showing. That was my legs. That, those were my legs. That wasn't ideal because what if a, a snake came out and bit me and like leeches or whatever. For much of the year, the Moonlight Creek track can be much and potentially slippery. This track is recommended for experienced and well-prepared walkers only. Yeah, you take me here. And Adam didn't give me any like heads up prior to this saying, oh, you make sure you gotta bring this, make sure you're wearing actual boots rather than runners that have holes in them that can get, if there's any kind of moisture that goes into these shoes, my feet are satched. They're saturated. I get miserable, so it's not ideal. It's just not ideal. Hope that doesn't happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, fire out. You're kidding. Yeah, that's, that's really ideal. Yeah, and it starts to rain. It actually can't rain heavy because my camera equipment, oh my God, if my camera gets wet, that it's done for and I don't have any room left in my camera bag. Push off. Oh. <sighs> These thorns are awesome. I didn't know like what kind of animals were out there that could possibly uh, harm us. Adam said that he had a knife just in case. And I'm like, I don't know whether to feel good about that or whether to feel like I'm in danger because he has a knife. So anyway, we just kept walking. Actually, that was, that was a noise though. 12 foot bear just bounding towards us. <laughs> Yeah, it's like <laughs> At this point, I realized that I didn't bring any food or drink. When you're hiking, you're walking up stuff, you're walking down stuff. It takes a whole lot of energy because you're like looking where you're going and everything. <laughs> what does your body need so you can have energy? It needs fuel. What is fuel? Food, water, I need that. So I didn't have that. I asked him like, is there any way that you like have like a, a bottle of water or anything I could borrow? But he said, no, like I can't let you drink my water obviously because of COVID-19, that would just be, he whipped out this thump thing out of his backpack. So you put water in this and you drink out of this and that's, that's clean water. That would work here. Now I'm not gonna get any disease. No, just leech lungs. <laughs> leech, yeah. yeah, leech lungs. Oh. It's got foam. Does that mean it's poisonous? You better not be lying to me. Oh my god. Is it good? It's actually amazing. Like, it's like perfect water. So I'm walking and stuff, but then I look down and there's leeches. Oh my god, they are everywhere. Boof. They're so weird. It's under there now. Oh, there's one right there. 
Oh. Yuck, get off me. You can't get them off. They actually don't come off. So when they... Ugh. You just, there's more. If you like try and rip them off, sometimes it rips off their body, but it doesn't rip off their freaking head. So their head is still there, just like eating at you. Ah, uh, get out of there. Look at how big this is. Oh, no, oh, it's going under my fingernail. Where are they? Now I'm paranoid. That one's taken out some blood. I love how your equipment's <laughs> working out really well for you. It's a joke, isn't it? Are we halfway there at least? We're about to be. God! This incline's like 40 odd degrees! Still haven't even found close to like a good photo opportunity. Oh, mine's telling me at the moment, like all these things, all these things, like just pause, just have a break. You're hungry, like you shouldn't be in this situation. There's all these like limitations that your mind comes up with. Partly, that's because I'm not too fit. The reason why I'm not too fit is because I haven't presented myself with many opportunities for put for pushing through these limits like this. Not only obviously with this situation makes you physically stronger, it's not about that for me. It's more about pushing through the limits because you're not listening to your mind. Every time you do the rep of not listening to your mind, you begin doing the practice of controlling your mind rather than letting your mind control you. The mind is like a horrible master, but it's a good slave. If like something's limiting you right now, your mind's telling you, oh, no, nah, I don't want to do it because what if people judge me? All this kind of stuff. Take my advice. The only way for you to beat those insecurities, to shed that layer, is by doing it. There's no other way. There's no way to think your way through it. There's no motivational speech that's going to get you through. It's just about like putting yourself out there. That discomfort that you feel is a good thing because that's where growth comes from. Right now, I'm uncomfortable as shit. I'm probably getting sucked on by a bunch of leeches. That's the discomfort that I'm seeking right now, which is it's good. Oh, yeah, it's not windy for my drone. Wow, we've gone through all this treacherous landscape. Let's get a bloody drone shot, hey! Oh! <laughs> it's actually being lifted from the wind. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going forward, but it's going right. I don't even know how to do this. Wait, portrait capture. Yeah, it says max motor speed reached. Does that mean it's gonna fly into like fucking Narnia? Oh, that's sick. Whoa. I'll move that. Wait. The sun coming yeah, in? Yeah, the sun on it. Wait. I don't... Is the, that 4K? The composition... <laughs> yeah, the photos are in 4K. <laughs> the composition's so shit, but the lighting's cool. Yeah. Let's keep saying high wind velocity. Was that... What does that mean? No. It means we're It means we're fucked! These photos all suck. I'm not even, I'm not moving it and it's moving. What if I went higher? Would it get less windy if I went yeah. higher? <laughs> what if I did a panning shot? I don't know if like you can go like. So what I'm doing with this panning thing is I'm trying to get like it to look like it's a pastel kind of oh, portrait. Oh fuck. Fuck. All right, we're, now it's dead. Now we're gone. Now we're done with. And then it goes straight into my teeth. Landing. Yeah, every single drone flight is stressful with me and I'm not even actually trying to make it stressful. It's just, I'm just shit. That's good. It's good to suck. Uh, pursue the negative. Losing is cool. Losing is cool. Alright, let's go. Photos, I I just didn't really like much of them. I did what I did like about some of the photos, the sun that was beaming through the clouds onto the actual hill, I like the contrast of the light and then the sort of like darker tones of the rest of the mountains. There was one of them, it was like sort of a top-down shot. The trees looked like cauliflower a little bit. Apart from that, yeah, I, I didn't really. Yeah, it's just whatever. And then when I tried doing that spinning thing, it just didn't work at all. Even though the shutter speed was like what? Like one over 40th or it was spinning pretty quickly. So I was really confused as to why the photos actually turned out being extremely crisp. I didn't know how that happened. Not even just photo shoots, just life in fucking general just doesn't go to plan all the time. If you take a photo that you're like, damn, 
This photo is freaking mint. It's mint. I love this photo. Don't raise your expectations to that level. Don't trust that prosperity. Just because you did well in your eyes, right around the corner, whether it be the next shoot or the one after or one after that or whatever, there is a huge pile of shit that's just waiting for you. And uh, it's gonna be blocking your way. And like, if you're not prepared for that shit, then you're going to get disappointed. You're gonna be unhappy and you're gonna be like, oh, well, I guess photography isn't for me. Maybe I should give up. Shut your ego up and just create. Question of the day. <laughs> what editing software do you recommend for a beginner in video and photography? If you're just starting out in video and stuff, I would maybe go with iMovie and stuff and see if you like it or whatever. But the best thing you can do is just start off with the software that the pros use as well. So I would say with video, I would use Premiere Pro or Final Cut. With photography, I would use Photoshop or Lightroom. Because the thing is, if you even just get started with those things, though it can like seem a little bit complicated at first, if you're starting off with those things, you're gonna have the most growth and you're gonna learn the most things about those programs and with editing your video and photos, so it's best to start with those. That's my opinion. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again. I'll catch you next time.